Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today I'm at one of my favorite little stretches of creek to do something quite different. Today we are standing atop an awesome cliff peering down with a bird's eye view on a pool that's got some trout in it. In today's video I'm going to be observing their behavior while fishing them with our creek bugs. I'm going to be jigging and drifting and changing colors and just seeing what I can take away and what lessons I can learn while observing these fish with a bird's eye view. I will be targeting the smaller fish. It may be the only time you ever hear me say that on my channel, but today I am looking to hook and catch those smaller fish as pulling them up this cliff will be the easiest and those bigger fish will by far be the most difficult and we don't want to harm any of those larger fish. And in today's video, I'm going to be starting off with that tried and true black creek bug. It's an absolute awesome color and we know the fish love it and I'm curious to see just how they react when that lure comes by in different cadences. And I've got that rigged up on some six pound fluorocarbon line with a small split shot weight spooled up onto that Fluger President reel. This is a size 30 reel and I've got that seven foot two piece Fenwick Eagle medium action rod. So let's not waste any time. Let's pull a few casts in here. So let's just see what we can take away from this awesome bird's eye view. I'm gonna see how they react to just a slow, dead drift. No action imparted. Oh, that was a good little nibble. They are just short striking it. They're not taking that bobber down or holding it for very long. Oh, there was our first good taker. Didn't want to swing too hard. Got some trees in behind us. Very interesting behavior out of these fish. Very, very interesting. I'm thinking I might try to take the old float off here. It will make for a little bit harder casting. But I would like to see just what happens when I bounce that creek bug by the same fish, what they might think of it. Can really see what's going on just beautifully from where I'm at. So we should be able to see their reaction. Oh yeah, they definitely like that. Oh, had one take it right there. Oh, we took it again. Very interesting fish behavior. Keeping my eye on that creek bug. Oh wow, those fish are going mad for that jigging action. It's no wonder how successful that can be. Oh, it popped it loose right there. Absolutely mad for that jigging action. There we go. Went on ahead and set the hook on that smaller guy. Pretty easy to flip up here. There we go. Just a small little guy, flipping right on up here into the net. Wow, what a little beauty. That was pretty awesome. Took off that float and started jigging, and those fish went mad. Definitely a huge benefit to standing up here and being able to observe from a distance. First fish on that black bug, jigging it around. It was so awesome to see those fish react, and that one absolutely had to have it. Heck yeah. All right, let's go ahead and bomb out another cast. We'll do the same thing again. We'll just jig that creek bug along and we'll watch and see what they do. Oh, had one take it right there. Got him. I mean, almost immediately. Super cool to see their reaction from way up here. I mean, they come over and just destroy it, especially when they think it's going to get away from them. We started off just drifting and that didn't seem to be the ticket at all. This is another small frost. We're just going to give him the old toss up here. Right on into our net. There we go. Another beautiful little rainbow trout. Heck yeah, everyone. Pretty interesting stuff. Heck yeah, everyone. Super cool to set up here and observe these fish. And their reaction is definitely something 
that I can take away and put that in my back pocket and store that information so when I'm standing down closer to the water I can kind of get a better idea of what's going on down there at all times pretty awesome experiment let's keep it going all right exact same cast again you can see the creek bug down there I'm gonna bring it through a little bit faster this time maybe make them think that it's trying to flee from them oh and it got hammered swung a little bit quick there but it got absolutely hammered and that fish is still down there looking for it right now looking all around it thinks it's harmed it or killed it let's go ahead and get it back in there as quickly as we can still see the same fish there we go same thing again let's see if we can get it to come over and grab it once more Wow, that's pretty interesting. That fish was the exact same fish that bit it the first time. Came over and looked at it, but chose not to take it. That's pretty interesting. There we go. That was pretty cool. That fish was all over that lure. That was pretty awesome right there. We make sure during our flip that we keep our rod over the water at all times. Just in case that fish decides to pop loose. This one did not. Alright. See if we can get that. Oh, looks like he's kicked it and poked himself on the side of the head right there with it. There we go. Quick pop loose. Another beautiful small little rainbow. That was pretty awesome. All right. I thought it'd be fun to go on ahead and change up colors here. Popped on that awesome yellow color. I'm going to drop it in the hole. Bounce it around as well. And just see what the fish think of that awesome yellow color. It could be that they don't really like that brighter color. They may actually shy away from it. It'd be pretty cool to take note of what happens. So far, nobody's coming charging in. But it's making me believe just that. We'll make a few more follow-up casts and just compare the two. Finally getting a break in that wind a little bit. We should really be able to see what these fish are doing down there. There we go. That was awesome. Being able to slow that presentation down and really bounce it across their nose was what it took to trick this one right here. That's pretty interesting because we've been bouncing around with that wind for several casts. We haven't had the first one commit to it. But being able to get it right into the strike zone, right in front of the fish, this one right here came on over and bit it without hesitation. So it may be safe to say that oftentimes just fan casting in a hole really is the ticket. Got two down there competing for it. Neither one is really dedicating itself to taking it, but they both want it. Wow, that is super interesting. It seems like it's one of those, I don't really want it, but you can have it kind of situations where these two fish are just fighting back and forth for it. And it would appear that neither one is going to commit. Very interesting. Now I've noticed in the past, especially around bigger wild fish, that what will happen is whenever you drop in your lure, the bigger of the two will oftentimes bump the smaller fish out of the way, almost as if it's warning it not to take the lure. Now I'm not sure how those fish communicate in that way. Oh, that one just slammed it. But I have noticed that, and it appears that that was similar to what was just happening there. Those two fish were competing for it, both looking at it, neither taking it almost as if they were waiting for the other one to try it first to see if it was actually food and like i've mentioned these fish have been pressured very very hard this hole gets hit quite often and i was actually seeing some dough bait on the rocks just beside me here somebody's been fishing from right here where i'm standing 
dropping in dough bait, which is completely legal and fine. But it's pretty safe to say that these fish are definitely in tune with their surroundings and they know what's going on. Couple lookers right there again. I believe it's the same two. Odds are we're not going to be able to catch either one until they separate. Very interesting. Maybe throwing a different cadence there, bringing it up towards the surface. We've got them both chasing. Let's see what happens. Bringing it up super high. But they dropped right back down. Very interesting. There we go. That's a pretty good fish. Oh, and he kicked the hook right there. That's perfectly fine. Probably best that that happened. That was a pretty good sized fish. I'm really trying to target those smaller ones, but there's really nothing you can do when a bigger one like that takes it. Very interesting right there. That fish just out of nowhere stormed up from the group and absolutely slammed it. No real warning, no hesitation, completely creamed the lure. Pretty cool stuff. Sometimes you'll just catch one that's in the mood it may have seen the lure over and over and over again, and then out of nowhere, it decides that it's time for it to try it. All right, everyone, I think it's time to take what we've observed from up here and move down the creek to some more flat water. We can get down on ground level and use our waders to try to get out and see if we can get on top of some fish and get the exact same kind of reactions while fishing in the creek down in some currents. Let's not waste any time. Let's head that way. Let's just see what else today has to offer. Well, all right, guys and girls, making our way into some brush over here. Should be a couple trout hanging out in it, I will assume. Still got that olive bug on. We observed that it was by far the best color here on the creek today from our bird's eye view at that awesome looking cliff. I thought we'd bounce around that old olive color. In this little pocket right here. See if we can get anybody to come out and take a look at it. I threw you to where they hang out at it. Kind of, there's a big rock right there. You can see it from up here on the bank. Yeah, they get right in beside that thing. There we go. It's right where he was supposed to be. Did I get in your line there? Beautiful little guy. Finally got that color dialed in. If I can get around them, I can catch them. It's a stone fly. It's a soft plastic stone fly. Really? Yep. Yes, sir. I thought the same thing. There's another one. They're back there. Oh yeah. Well everyone, I think this is gonna be the very last drift of today's video. I had a ton of fun approaching that awesome cliff, looking down and observing those fish and just seeing how they reacted to those lures with different colors and different cadences. And I was really able to kind of take a few things away, especially when you get them in a big group about how to present that lure to maximize those opportunities and get more bites. But if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, drop me a comment down below. Every comment really does help out the channel and I do my best to reply to each and every one of them. If you'd like to get your hands on some of those lures, use the trick all of this beautiful rainbow trout, all you gotta do is click that very first link in the description. It'll take you straight to my website. Be sure to use code YouTube10 in all caps. Save 10% off any order, $25 or more. But get out there if you can, everyone, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.